Hiya guys, welcome back to Went With Life. How are you all doing? Well guys, we only have two weeks left of Wentworth Season 6 and things are about to explode. So let, I've got a couple of screenshots here and I'm going to read through them with you all, okay? So we've got an episode summary here telling us what's going to happen in episode 11. So it says... Marie acquires CCTV footage that may allow her to identify her son's murder. Ruby fears she cannot trust Ali, and Vera Will and Jake's conspiracy is threatened. There's also a short little episode thing here that says Vera's life is in danger as she finally comes face to face with the stalker. Um... Something I just want to read out to you here, went with tonight, a great episode as we get closer to the big explosive end. Very interesting, guys. And this is another guy. This is from a guy called Brian Peel. He is a radio presenter, and I love to follow him as he gets to see previews of episodes a couple of weeks in advance. And in one of his tweets... He says, I'm about to sit through season 6, episode 12, final of Wentworth. I may not come out of this alive. And then after watching it, he posts, Intense final, in capital letters, Season 6, episode 12, Q, massive episode on Tuesday, September the 4th on Foxtel. The perfect setup for season 7. Okay. So if that's not enough to get you excited, guys, then let's discuss what could happen. Um, and I'm going to start with, obviously, reveals, because there is so much to be revealed in the next two episodes. There's so many secrets bubbling away to the surface, and all these different reveals, like we've got the Ruby storyline... We've got this stalker storyline going on. I believe Liz is obviously still in danger because she knows what happened, what Dra what Drago did. Um, you know, Rita is an undercover cop. Um, Kaz has tried to kill Marie. There are so many things that is going to be revealed in the next two episodes. It's going to be absolutely huge. And I mean, these are dangerous deadly reveals and i am so excited for the fallout so let's talk about the stalker storyline which if you follow my videos you guys will know how annoyed i am that we still don't know who the stalker is but but of course in the trailer for next week we know that vera is gonna be in danger and someone is gonna grab her so I hope this is going to shed some light. Whoever this person is, they have got newspaper clippings all over the wall in, you know, in a shipping container in the middle of nowhere. Um, who is this person and why are they doing it? Um, I mean, I, if I, I think it's Channing myself. Um, and I do believe that Channing and Marie have got something to do with it. Um, I was thinking earlier... It back in season five, can you can you can you remember um uh, at the scene between Ali and Channing and Ch Ali goes up to Channing and is like, oh, don't you remember me? Um, we used to call you Golden Showers and things like that, and he's basically saying to her, you know, you best shut the f up type of thing. Um, so Ali knows who he is. So clearly, if his paths have crossed with Ali back in his in her prostitution days, then he's must have something to do with Marie. He's definitely tied in to it somehow, which I think is going to be really interesting. Um, and also, I if you watched my little theory video about Marie having something to do with this, it's because obviously she likes to have dirt on people, dirt files, and people are saying, well, how would Marie know? How would Marie know? Well, there was one theory I came up with that maybe because she's sleeping with Will... Maybe she's sleeping with Jake. Maybe Jake has let something slip to her. Um, you know, maybe Jake has helped give her some drugs since being in Wentworth. We all know she likes to smoke her heroin. Um, or possibly Ali might have said something to Marie. Um, in regards to Ferguson, 
she might have bragged to Ma- to Mari about how she got rid of Ferguson and she worked with somebody on the outside. And maybe Marie has put two and two together and has realised that Will is somehow involved, hence why she's getting Channing on the outside to do this stalking. Um, so I do feel it's Channing and I think Mari has definitely got something to do with this. I don't think it's got anything to do with Officer Murphy and I don't think it's got anything to do with Turk. I do, however, feel that Jake could somehow be involved. I don't know how, what or why, um, but I feel he could be involved and, you know, he could he could be helping on the outside with Mari. He could be helping to run her brothels with Channon because remember in season five, Channon wanted a cut of Jake's drug dealing. So I do think Jake could be involved. I just don't know how, what or why at this point. I do hope, however, that the fact that the stalker storyline is being dragged out a little bit, that it is going to be as good, the reveal, by the end of it all. Um, Because I will be very annoyed otherwise, guys, because it has been dragged on um, and it's kind of overshadowing Ferguson's death at this stage. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad she's dead. I felt it was time for her to go back in season five. Um, But I just want it resolved now. And obviously, I'm hoping that it's going on to, it's going to be part of a bigger storyline that's going to be, you know, tied in with this season final. Okay, so let's move on with Mari. So, Mari, um, of Deed at the end of this week's episode. Um, And that was all because of Kaz swapping her heroine with the one laced with rat poison. So we're going to have the fallout from what happened. Um, Mari, is Mari going to think that Drago gave her the rat poison? Is she going to turn on her, you know, her friend? Um, Is she going to find out that Kaz was involved and also... Because Marie's going to survive, hashtag spoiler. <laughs> um, is Kaz going to try and do something else to stop Mari? Because obviously Kaz is going to think, oh my God, Liz is still in danger. I've got to strike now before they strike again. So they've got, they've got all of that happening. So in the episode um, that I read out earlier, it said that Marie obtains CCTV footage. So is this Ruby storyline, it's coming to the massive climax now. I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of episode 11's episode, um, she will discover that it was Ruby that killed her right at the very end, right at the very end. But what it, what, what's really twisted in this storyline is Rita is is wrapped up in the middle of it all in between two different stories now. So we've got Rita, who is an undercover cop. Um, she went. She clearly offered to do the job, knowing that Ruby was in there. So she was trying to kill. She's been trying to kill two birds with one stone, do this undercover cop business. But she's also there to protect Ruby, her sister. But things are about to get very dangerous for the both of them. Um, if it comes out that Rita's an, an undercover cop, she's going to have all the women after her. Um, and obviously, she's going to need to protect Ruby. You know, Mari's got Drago on side, who is a very, very scary, strong lady. It's going to get very twisted and very messed up. But on top of that, you've got Kaz, who is wanting to stop Mari. Um, and it's got me thinking, maybe, is Ali going to find out that Ruby killed Danny? And maybe that's why Ruby starts to not trust her after, and she regrets doing it. Um, oh, guys, it's absolutely messed up. Um, but I feel things are going to be revealed by the end of episode 11, which is then going to take centre stage in the season final, hence why the title for season final this year is called Showdown. So it's very, very exciting. So do we think we're going to have a shock and death by the end of this season? Um, 
I wouldn't like to say at this stage. I feel Mari is safe. I feel Drago will die by the end of the season. I've said for a while now, I think there's going to be a huge showdown between Rita and Drago, and Rita will end up killing Drago to protect Ruby. Um, any other shocking deaths? I'd like to see Jake finally get his comeuppance. Um, but again, I remember watching in an interview with Jake recently that he his character plays some big he his character plays the bigger parts in the um, end of episode cliffhangers coming to the end of the season, including the final. Um, I really hope Liz survives by the end of this season because she's been through a lot, bless her, and I think maybe by season seven because they've already tapped into it recently that she'll want to go on her terms. It'll be interesting to see if that happens maybe in season seven, that she gets worse. Will Kaz help Liz die? Or maybe Boomer. Even Boomer might help Liz die. I mean, it'll be a very sad storyline, but I feel that's the path that they're going to be going down into season seven. So I think Liz is going to be safe by the end of this season. I wouldn't be at all surprised if Ali dies by the end of the season. Um, Maybe Mari goes to kill Ruby um, during a massive showdown and Ali gets in the way and Ali ends up dying. Um, So yeah, because obviously in Brian Peel's um, Twitter, he's saying that it's it's a huge final setting things up for season seven. So if Rita kills Drago, then she is a prisoner, properly, a proper, proper prisoner. No more undercover cop business. Um, and if Ali dies because of Marie or Drago, then that sets things up for a massive, you know, a massive feud for season seven between Kaz, you know, Kaz and Rita against Mari. For some reason. I have got a little bit of a feeling that Vera is going to end up on the wrong side of her own bars by the end of this season, ready for season seven. I've just just got this awful feeling that she's going to end up behind bars. She's going to end up taking the fall for the death of Ferguson. Ferguson's body is going to be properly found by police um, and somehow Vera will end up taking the fall. Uh, I don't know how it's going to play out. Obviously, we've got a few more twists and turns. Um, but yeah, I've got a feeling. I mean, there was a photo with Vera in Teal that was posted on Instagram a while back. And, you know, they made out that, oh, she was just cold. She was just cold. The actress was cold. Um, I don't buy that. I've got a sneaky suspicion that Vera's going to end up on the wrong side of the bars. So, okay, it looks like that the end, the last two episodes of this season is going to be focused on this stalker storyline and the reveal of a number of different storylines coming to a head that has been building for a long, long time, you know, since the season has started. So it looks like it's going to be a very tense two episodes. So, guys... Let me know in the comments box, what do you think is going to happen in the next two episodes? Do you think anyone's going to die by the end of the season? Um, do you think there might be a riot by the end of the season leading on to season seven? Remember, in one of my other videos, there was a post saying that season seven, episode one and episode two are some of the best opening episodes that they've ever done. So it could be a riot that happens by the end of the final episode leading on to season seven or a huge siege maybe. So guys, let me know your thoughts and your theories in the box below. And thank you for watching my spoiler and theory chat video. If you like these videos, then please subscribe below and I will see you next time.